Okay, last night, man, Bernard Hopkins, once again, he pulls it off, man. Um, you know, what can you say? I picked against him. I even said to myself, I was going with my brain rather than with my heart. I put a bet on it, and the son of a bitch takes my money again. Second time, he has proven me wrong. Second time, he has proven everybody, the critics, everybody wrong, you know. Um... So let's really recap what happened and how this guy took my money, all right? First off, if you watch my Keys to Victory, I said if he's able to take away Pavic's jab, he takes away Pavic's game plan. And that's exactly what he did. He was the jabber of the bout. He was the guy that set the tempo. He roughed him. He played dirty. Like I said, he needed to do. He got in the brain. He got in the skin, underneath the skin. He got in the kid's head by, you know, rough, roughing him up in the inside, giving them the body shots, and just really making Pavic look ordinary, you know, um, I even mentioned before, the fighters that have defeated Bernard Hopkins are guys with speed, and Pavlik going in at 170, he looked really slow to me, I mean, he just didn't look like he was even there in the fight, there was even a point in the, you know, that his, even his trainer, when he go back to his corner, even his trainer was puzzled, and it might be because of the game plan they had already set themselves going into this bout, maybe looking for the knockout, but I didn't even see that out of him. I didn't see him really putting an effort just because of the fact of what Bernard was doing to him mentally and physically. He was just shutting him out. You know, he would catch him with, not just with one hand, he was catching him with, you know, four or five punch combinations every time, you know, uh, his footwork was there. I also mentioned on the keys of victory how his shoulder was, all, his, how he always directs that shoulder shoulder you know straight down the pipe you know so he never gives you a full view angle so that you can kind of like try to tee off you know and I even mentioned also no matter how much amateur experience you have no matter how many fighters you would face in your pro, pro career no no matter how many spar partners you get nothing will ever prepare you for a man like Bernard Hopkins okay um from the first round, I saw, I was like, okay, he's going to do exactly what we expect him to do, which is use his legs. And in the mid round, he's going to die out, he's going to tire out. But instead of what he did was he used his legs for three, four rounds. Then he conserved them. You know, knowing there were older legs, he was just able to, you know, just use what he's, his natural ability, which is he is a master boxer, which is slip punches and counter, okay? Hold when, when, when it was necessary. Um... This is a crafty guy. I mean, if you really watch and pay attention to the fight, he used every advantage in the ring. He used the ref to help him out in certain points, even though he got a point taken away from himself. But he was able to make the ref be a big part of this whole game plan that Bernard walked in. Okay, and that's what a veteran fighter does. He uses every little aspect that he can grab a hold of and makes it a great advantage to his for his opportunities in the bout. Um, Pavlik just looked completely puzzled. He looked like a young kid that just got his bike stolen by two cholos. Okay? He didn't know where to go. He didn't know who to turn to. He didn't even know what to say to his trainer. He just looked like a guy that really wanted to go back to his hotel, crawl in his bed and put the blankets over and say, leave the lights on because I'm afraid of the dark. All right? I really felt for the kid, you know. Even at the end of the bout, you saw Bernard still wanted to, you know, go at it with them. Was still energized. Still had all this stamina to go. Say, let's go 12 more rounds. Let me, let me just show you off for 12 more rounds. Let me shut all these credits. Let me shut all the dudes that doubted me. Give me some more, man. Give me some more. Well, he said he had a little speech with Pavic at the end, and he said, I'm a real dude. And you know what? He is a real dude. This is a street guy. This is a guy that takes it to the fight. Why? He, what, what happened to Bernard in his last bout, his last two outings? I don't know. You know, um, this is the Bernard that fans have, all around the world have grown to love. This is the Bernard that shut out Tito Trinidad. 
He did exactly what he did to Tito back in 2001. He used his legs, he used his boxing skills, he used his craft, he used his intelligence. He used everything that you needed to use when you're going to go face a very prime puncher. Okay, so where does now Bernard go? What bout is out there for him? Well, obviously, some would say Dawson. But really, does that bout make any sense for Bernard Hopkins to face Dawson, a young, another young strong but fast fighter and got a good win over an old Antonio Tarver but would that fight generate enough money for Bernard to go hmm huh, you know what I'm gonna be up for that bout probably not just because of the spectacular win that he gave with Pavic he even said it himself he needs motivation he needs negativity he, he thrives off negativity this is a guy that his whole life he's always been in the bottom barrel the whole life he's been kicked when he's down and you know what and when you're kicked when you're down all the time you're used to that and that is just a good supplement for your for you to take in and it's it's a drug right so Dawson he would probably be the favorite for that fight and probably wouldn't give you such a great performance like he did against Pavic. The bout out there that you can see that's in his eyes, the bout that it, that's there that you can hear in his voice, and you can see it just pounding out of his chest is Roy Jung Jr. That's the bout right there. Now, Roy's got a big task right there in front of him too. You know, uh, him facing Kalzaki. What happens with that bout? Well, if he beats Kalzaki, of course. Now you got two legends, two mega legends that are going to face each other in 2009. Um, how well, let's say, let's put, let's say, you know what, let's turn it all around. Let's say Calzaghe defeats Roy, but it's not so convincing. Let's say Roy is able to do some great things against Calzaghe and still doesn't get the win, but maybe gets a knockdown and makes it such a close, close bout that still walks away as a winner but with a loss on his record, right? It still generates a lot of a lot of interest for Bernard and Roy to go out again just because of the fact that they fought the first time and really it was a close, close bout and Bernard was not even in his prime at that time when they had did when they did face each other for the middleweight championship, right? So win or lose for Roy, it depends on how spectacular he looks. How intriguing is he going to make his battle with Calzaghe to make it even a mega, mega super bout with Bernardo Hopkins, okay? That, to me, if they face each other and Roy cuts back as RJ, the one I have, well, who I like to see all the time that comes in about is RJ, that bout right there is going to be something special because you're going to have two very intelligent, crafty fighters. Not young fighter. It's not going to be the teacher versus the student. This is the professor versus the professor. Anyways, those were my thoughts. Once again, hey, when I make a pick and I'm wrong, I'm going to sit there, I'm a man up, I'm going to tell you I was wrong. He proved me wrong, okay? Not only did he prove me wrong, he took my money. <laughs> he took my money and, and when they took my money, when I laid my bet and my bet and the dudes that I laid the bet with and I'm handing them my money and shit, I'm handing it with a smile because he did a spectacular job. I can't complain about it. I was happy to give my money away, you know what I mean, to a certain degree, but he did it. Anyways, I'm your host, Dave Duenas, and this was another edition of the Will Be Blood Fight Show.